Welcome to Artisan Kitchen. Our online cooking classes are growing in popularity. And as every week, we're presenting today the new recipe. Enjoy! Let's make lamb meatballs with mint. It's kind of Eastern recipe, but it could be applied to any cuisine. So today we are going to be serving it with pasta and peas. To make meatballs, you are going to need one pound of ground lamb meat, one egg, one tablespoon of chopped onion, half a cup of breadcrumbs, salt and pepper, fresh parsley and mint, and one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. You want to mix all of the ingredients well in a bowl with a spoon or, or you can mix it with your hand. I have to admit there is something very satisfying when you are working with the food directly rather than with tools. Nothing to say against tools, but when you work with a hand you actually feel like you are part of the creative process. It will look like this, sort of. When it's well mixed, all you have to do is take a teaspoon size of a ball, roll it between your palms and put it on a baking sheet. Now for this purpose, I have chosen some meatballs to be breaded quite generously and coated on the outside, and some of them to use less um, breadcrumbs and I found at the end that those without breadcrumbs were actually more tender and more juicy. Coat all of your meatballs slightly with the olive oil. So while your meatballs are baking in a preheated oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, Try not to go over that time. You can make the pasta. For that, you are going to need capellini, parmesan cheese, some frozen peas or fresh, and leeks. You could use onions, but I have selected leeks as a gentler option. Saute your leeks for about 10 minutes on a medium heat until they are translucent. Mix one teaspoon of butter and flour together on a hot pan until it's lightly browned. Keep mixing until it's lightly brown. This is your roux for the bechamel sauce. Add some water and mix it very well until it thickens. Now add back your leeks and frozen peas. At this point, season it with salt and pepper as needed to your taste. Boil generously salted water and add your capellini pasta into it. Mix it as soon as you put all of the pasta in and bring it back to the boil. Take your pasta out of the boiling water and put it in a pan and mix it very well with your already prepared sauce. Mix it well and sprinkle generously with Parmesan cheese. For best results, I would recommend eating it as soon as possible before pasta gets cold. You will taste the fantastic spring peas and pasta and the meatballs are very tender and very juicy with a little hint of mint you've put in there. Enjoy! I hope you enjoyed today's video and the recipe presented and I hope you are going to make it. Let me know how it went in the comments below. Please check out our website where we offer online cooking classes, 
and also when you sign up for membership you'll get free recipes each month if you haven't yet please subscribe to our youtube channel this is where i am uploading my videos every week thank you for watching